This is a Dell Vostro 1440. Um, it's got Windows 8 on it. At least the uh, logo that comes up is like that, and it just uh, freezes at, at boot up. Uh, so um, I'm going to take the hard drive out, and one thing uh, one thing to do is take all the screws out, put them in spots around uh, around the uh, computer that where the screws belong. Of course, if you end up taking that one out, um, put it on the outside of the two, so so you know where it goes. I went ahead and took off the three for the um, for the two that's in back where the monitor is because I'm wasn't really too sure. Once I got inside, it brought back memories. Uh, all right. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I'm doing here. Okay, for number one, take off the battery. All right, uh, so that way power is not on it when you're inside this thing. Um, the main goal here is to access the hard drive so I can test it. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Uh, actually, the the cover to the uh, cover to this uh, actually came off for some reason. Won't go back on. So I'm just going to set it aside. I'll have to deal with that later on. Um, we're going to turn it over and we're going to open it up. All right now, the uh, I, I went ahead and I pried in here and tried getting the keyboard to come up, and just the outside, uh, everything in between the keys started coming up, not the keyboard itself. Uh, so, uh, so that just brought back some really nasty memories from another video I made. So, I, uh, one thing to do is you don't want to damage the outside, so get yourself a thin screwdriver and and go down and pry it up. So, and you have to work your way around get down there and pull it up all right and you'll hear a bunch of clicking okay use a screwdriver to work your way around in there uh, if you come to an area that's uh, that's stopping you go come out and go around it because that's a clip and you don't want to damage the clips all right so um, you don't want to pull it up too far because there's very tight connectors inside and it looks like it's been cracked right here almost like the, the computer's been dropped um, that's something I need to point out to my customer because if it was dropped, chances are the hard drive got damaged because hard drives are very delicate. So I'm just going to—I just want enough room to get that hard drive out, and there's the hard drive in there. Um, I'll bring it up so you can see the hard drive. It's right there, and there's a tab in there to pull right back here. So you're going to pull that tab, and it breaks free. Grab the tab if you can, and lift it out and the hard drives out. So you can go uh, you can go uh, wherever you need to go to purchase a new hard drive. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, there's um, uh, one screw there. There's no screw in the front. Nothing for it to grab. And one screw there. So there's only two screws and it sits in where, uh, where the keyways are there and the circuit board is on the bottom. You go ahead and uh, do the same thing I just did. Lift it up. Set it inside. Lay it, lay it down. You want to line it up with the uh, connectors down there. Uh, you're going to pop this in and let it seat, and it just seated. And there's a bracket on top of this on the inside that's going to hold that into place. Push this down, clamp it down, press down to clamp in, put all your screws back in on the other side, pop your battery in, and hopefully you made your system restore CDs and you'll have to reload your computer again. Hopefully this helps you out. All right, um, subscribe, hit the subscribe button above, and uh, see a lot more videos like this. Take care. Bye.